And tonight calls for transparency within the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, stemming from video of an arrest in Coachella that we showed you back in May. News Channel 3's I-Team investigator Peter Doubt continues our team coverage. News Channel 3 and also some public officials have asked the Sheriff's Department to release the deputy's body camera footage of that arrest. But that information request, like so many others involving the department, was denied. This cell phone video sent by a viewer to News Channel 3 shows a suspect on the ground in Coachella while several Riverside County Sheriff's deputies punch and knee him. The department says the deputies had responded to a call on May 25th of a man disturbing the peace. When they tried to arrest 35-year-old Garrett Toro, he became combative, forcing the deputies to use physical force. The department also says both Toro and the deputies had minor injuries and Toro was taken to the hospital for treatment. Toro is a tribal member of the Torres Martinez Desert Cahuilla Indians and now the tribe's vice chairman wants to see the body camera footage. Why is it important to see this footage? So we just want to see what led to it to figure out what we need to do as a tribe to help our tribal members not get into those types of situations. This is someone that I know that I saw just prior to that video. He was out here at the reservation. He's, you know, he's frail, he's thin, he's nourished, he has mental health issues, and he's homeless. So I didn't understand, I couldn't fathom how four people on him, physically assaulting him, was necessary to put this man down. Toro's arrest was brought up multiple times during Tuesday's County Board of Supervisors meeting, where supervisors declined to vote on a measure calling for a review of the Sheriff's Department's policies. Several community members called into the meeting to voice their support for the measure, including Indio City Council member Oscar Ortiz, who also asked the board to encourage the department to release body cam footage of Toro's arrest. Uh, right now is the time to, to show transparency with our Sheriff's Department and our police departments to give our residents confidence in, the, in our officers. Sheriff Chad Bianco says he believes in transparency, but there are exceptions. There is nothing we have that is that is that we are not transparent about. Uh, the only thing that uh, you know someone will throw in your face, well, we asked you a question and you didn't answer. If if there is an ongoing personnel issue or a personnel complaint, or we're investigating an employee, whether it's criminal or whether it's administrative, we obviously can't comment on those types of things. The department is also refusing to release the body cam and dash cam footage of the incident, as well as the 911 call and dispatch communications, saying it determined that the records requested are exempt from disclosure under the California Public Records Act. The department cites several government codes, including one that states, the records in question are exempt because under the facts of the particular case, the public interest served by not disclosing the record clearly outweighs the public interest served. These are the same government codes the department has referred to over the years when denying several other public information requests from News Channel 3's I-Team. That includes our three requests for the body cam footage of last year's deadly officer-involved shooting of a gunman outside Eisenhower Health in Rancho Mirage and what a deputy shot and killed a man wielding a knife in July near the Agua Caliente Resort and Casino. But the department recently released this body cam footage of a deadly deputy-involved shooting of a suspect who attempted to assault deputies with his vehicle in the unincorporated community of Aguanga just one month after it happened. The, the, only, um, the only time we're bound by not being transparent is if we can't release something of an evidentiary value. So if there's a court case pending, we can't release that information outside of the court. So once it, it say he goes to court and it's released in court, then it can be released, but outside of that, if it goes to a jury trial, that can't be tainted for, I mean, we can't put evidence against him to be used against him out into the public. Toro was cited for misdemeanor resisting arrest and has since been released. Meanwhile, the tribe is also asking for a liaison with the Sheriff's Department, which they used to have for a better working relationship. For the I-Team, Peter Doubt, News Channel 3.